My friends are here. They exist. They're not figments of my imagination, thankfully. We were paid for. <laughs> so I've been hiding a little secret from you guys. My friends are coming to town and it's time for a girls trip. Let me introduce you to my two best friends. This is Morgan Adams, chameleon extraordinaire. I can not only feed her baked beans, I can also feed her caviar and she fits in beautifully in both situations. Morgan has a really good sense of humor and an even go gooder heart. She is a nice one of the group, so if me and Mia are ever bullying you, probably go to her. And this is Mia Dio, sugar baby extraordinaire. She is the villain of our podcast. You guys hated her, but do you realize she's just a really good actress? She's not even a real gold digger. And why is her hair so big? Because it's so full of secrets. My secrets. And who am I? That's a secret I'll never tell. Just kidding. As much as I try to be like mysterious and like secretive and sexy and cool, I can't stop yapping. I am a yapper extraordinaire. And why Blair Walnuts? Because my brain is literally the size of a walnut. Girls trips are kind of a funny topic on the internet because will your friendship survive a girls trip? I guess you'll find out at the end of this video if we're gonna be making exposing videos about each other or if we're still friends. So my friends arrived and the first scam of the trip was a taxi. They decided to be bougie and take a black cap. $150 to get here. I booked them an Airbnb and they came disheveled, stressed, and ugly. I'm just kidding, I would never call my friends ugly, but these are my sisters, so I'm allowed to. I'm going to cook Morgan and Mia their first British meal. I'm doing loaded baked potatoes with tuna and corn and then beans. It really emphasizes the zzz. Zzz. <laughs> I'm really excited. And I also got them my favorite chips, Twiglets. I think you guys are gonna hate it, but I love it and I make it really good. <laughs> Yum. I don't think they look very excited, guys. <laughs> I do recommend going for the tuna first or the beans. I would so. do beans. <laughs> I think it looks very appetizing. <laughs> Blair fed us beans on toast. Are you horizontal vlogging? Yeah. Oh, for YouTube? Yeah. Oh, this is so fun. Um, and now we're fully energized and ready for the day. Identify as British now. Um, we're going to Dior right now. I'm going to beg them to show my friends the diamond. One thing about our friend group is we have range. I can feed them $2 meals and then we can go spend $2,000 the rest of the day. So join us on the new YouTube video title, How to Spend $2,000 in One Day by Being Idiots. <laughs> We got dressed and we took our private driver to Dior. By private driver, I mean my boyfriend. restaurant the same day so I'm never allowed to buy anything from here again. I made a promise to myself. So me. <laughs> Run Morgan. <laughs> I'm kidding. We giggled, laughed, stalked people in the store that could be potential sugar daddies. I'm kidding. It does suit you actually. Guys I've ruined Morgan Adams. <laughs> Never be the same. <laughs> we shopped around, but we bought absolutely nothing because you know the AdSense YouTube checks are not really hitting like they used to. Uh, so if you could please like and subscribe on this video, that would really help me. So after that, we went somewhere to actually try on the outfits without breaking anything. <laughs> Mia got this like Scottish looking dress. I think she was really feeling the energy of the city because she just dyed her hair red too. So now she's a Scottish queen. Then this is this is the most nerve wracking part of the whole video. I had to introduce my sisters to my new boyfriend and pray to God they liked him because if they don't like him, I am single. <laughs> Thankfully, my boyfriend was really witty, charming, handsome, tall, rich. No, he did not put a water pistol gun emoji to my head to say this. After they had all gotten to know each other and warmed up, we went to one of my favorite restaurants in London. It's called Bacchanalia. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, 
it's really vibey. I ate beef tartare. I eat beef tartare every single dinner. I'm pretty sure I could be a beef tartare reviewer. The food slayed the house. And then we went to Mia's favorite club in London. It's called Apollo's Muse. You feel like you're partying with the ancient Greeks. And Mia liked this place so much, she requested to go here every single night. This trip was giving bus, club, another club, another club, another club, because we had to wake up bright and early. Girlies, let's go on the tube. Mia Dio's first train. <laughs> Mia has never been on public transportation before, unless you count riding her ex because he is a town bicycle. We're at Madame Toussaint's at that house. I'm finding a bus stop. It's <laughs> like keeping the girls humble. <laughs> <laughs> As your local tour guide, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be showing you about London. So I had somebody else do it. I delegate. I'm a businesswoman, you know? <laughs> I'll send it to my mom. Guys, we located the bus stop. And the other guy bullied us because we get on the Yeah. Bus. And then we felt bad for us to put some of our bus really fast. <laughs> At some point today. He did bully us. This is supposed to be like Fox Hill architecture. Uh, we struggled to find the bus, but once we got on, there was these like little headphones that you could put in your ears and they play Harry Potter sounding music and tell you about all the things you're driving by. So you never even have to really get off the bus. You can just take videos on top of the bus and not have to see anything. I think that is one of the best ways to travel. I call it the lazy adventurer because you just sit on a bus and look at things. Excellent. Um, I don't know why I was saying Walmart. Is your name like actually play on play on? After that, I took my friends to my favorite toilet in London. I am not kidding, I brought them here just because of the bathrooms. I have a bar in the toilet, and I thought that was like fun and cool until I actually went in there and it does actually smell like the toilet. Mia's birthday and then it was time to meet up with my boyfriend and his friends for drinks um, not because I cared to meet up with them but because we needed photos together like the girls needed pictures as a group and I made him take them. <laughs> 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 Mia and Dio are going to have a bus this day could have tore our friendship apart I am naked in a bed somewhere Part. I'm not joking you. This is the scariest part of the video. I can make a whole entire video on this, except we have zero evidence that this ever happened. This day we were going to a farm and me and Morgan have never been on a train in Europe before. So I had to give them the quintessential European experience of riding a train. We had to run here in our boots. In our boots. <laughs> they thought a pack of horses was coming to the train station. We were like, go, 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 go. <laughs> I've never been so out of breath in my life. I know, I'm having chest pains. <laughs> having heart palpitations. <laughs> and I don't service. think it was cheaper than the Uber. <laughs> no, it would have been three times as cheap. Three times cheaper to Uber. <laughs> well, here we are. Chatting. These girls came down. You had my sideburns. <laughs> <laughs> we 
were going to Soho House and we took the train there even though it cost more than an Uber. But I needed them to experience train culture, so <laughs> worth it. Money well spent. Watch this ad. Today's video is sponsored by my own brand, Lavori. I have body oil, lip oil, and hair oil that promotes the speed of your hair growth. If you want better hair, there's a link down in the description box and you can look at thousands of positive reviews about my hair oil. You should start oiling your hair. We're trying to get an Uber or a taxi from here to so far house. So far, we're the only people here. <laughs> It's not really a poppin' location, I don't think, but... Just if we're coming out, it's for the best. <laughs> someone would pick us up and then we'd probably die. Do you think someone would recognize us? No. <laughs> <laughs> not a single chance. We could stand here for 10 years and no one would recognize any of us. <laughs> Trying to find a fan in Charlbury. If you're from Charlbury, comment. You get zero comment. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you guys the words. I know what you're thinking about our outfits. Are these farm outfits, Blair? No, they're bimbo farm outfits, you guys. We located a taxi. Hi. Yeah. Yes. Oh, legs out. I was about to start jumping in my. <laughs> he loves you, Blair. So this day started out really wholesome. We played with horses, we had some food, and one thing led to another, and we had one too many few glasses of wine. They cater to me because they know that I love a pool. <laughs> we all got matching swimsuits, and now we're gonna pool. I love it. We look like ballerinas. <laughs> we do. And we're all matching with the same perfume. <laughs> This scene of Morgan jumping into the pool was the last time that all three of us made a rational decision. <laughs> <laughs> the story is just like embarrassing to even tell. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I am naked in a bed somewhere. Mia's like wondering when she fucking go to bed. Blair says, "Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to change directions." Morgan's favorite thing in the world is pools, and once we got to that pool, she wanted to stay there forever, but they were closing, so she was like, "Well, let's just come back in the morning." So we go to the bar. We're like still drinking at the farm, and then we're like, "Well, let's book a hotel room so we could come back here tomorrow and not travel." And we're all like, "Oh my god, genius idea!" They were out of hotel room. Mia books an Airbnb, apparently five minutes away. We could not find this place. The Uber driver dropped us off. It was dark, it was raining. We had no idea where to go, no service on our phones and no batteries. After literally an hour of looking for this Airbnb, we get inside, no charger for our phones. We have no clothes. We have no phones to get anywhere, call anyone or order anything. So I decided to be the chief operation executive bodyguard of the situation and I demanded that all of us sleep in one room and then we need a weapon in case someone breaks in. We're at a cottage in the forest with no phones and no service. Like what if someone breaks in and robs us? So I decided to put knives all over the room. This is the last video evidence we have from this event. It was filmed on Morgan's phone right before he died. I am naked in a bed somewhere. Mia's like wondering when she fucking go to bed. Blair says, hold on, hold on, hold on, I have to change directions. Blair says, don't worry, I'm European, I'll sit <laughs> And all of a sudden, Mia wakes up in a panic and I see her naked and waving a knife around the room. And I'm like, what happened, what happened? She's like, Blair, a knife fell on my head. You know that knife that I was talking about that I put on the nightstand? I guess when I was sleeping, I must have bumped it over. A knife hit Mia in the head. And then she thought someone actually had broken in and she was trying to defend us naked. It does not get better after this point though. We wake up in the morning, we have last night's clothes, last night's makeup, and no phones and no way to get back to the farm that we were trying to go swimming at. This whole story is because we wanted to go swimming at a pool. We decide to just leave the Airbnb because we have to check out and start walking back to the farm. It is a like three hour walk and we have no idea what direction. Meanwhile, we look like hookers, short little mini skirts, high boots, hair and makeup from last night. After literal hours, Mia gets someone, some kind family to help drive us back 
And I think the only reason they drove us back to the farm is because I think we were decreasing the value of the neighborhood by standing there and looking like hookers. I think that is the only reason they drove us back, I swear. Once we got back to the farm, we tried to go swimming in our matching swimsuits because, you know, that's why we spent the night there and got an Airbnb. They said no. So all of this situation is all for nothing because we didn't even get to swim in the pool. <laughs> At this point, we had no choice but to just take another $200 Uber home. So this swimming pool cost us an absorbent amount of money for no reason. Once we got back home, the times did not stop. I had more reservations to get us to, so we had to go to high tea, which is the bane of my existence. I uh, don't think that anybody should be paying $200 to eat cucumber sandwiches that could have been made by toddlers, but alas. had to show my friends the vibes. They sat us in the back corner, which I, I was already having a bad day. Like I had so, <laughs> they sat us in this dark, dingy, dusky back corner. Like, not that I care where I'm sitting at. I feel, I realize now saying it out loud makes me sound like a brat, but when you're paying the same price as everybody else and they like shoo you, am I nothing to you? I mean, I guess I am nothing, but <laughs> we asked them to move, but at this point, Things were just not better. I decided to just photograph my lip oil because I gotta make this a business expense somehow, don't I? So buy my lip oil, Lavori.com. At this point, I had realized I had not really done like the best job of showing them around London. Um, so my last ditch effort to make them have a good time was to take them to virtual reality because real reality was scary. So we went to go play virtual reality games. We're gonna go do VR. Since this trip, all three hookers, <laughs> us, have decided that we will be visiting each other around the world at least three times a year. The next trip can either be in Morgan's homeland, which is Denver, or Mia's homeland, which is Puerto Rico, which we will probably visit a few months from now because we are all tired and broke and demoralized since our last girl's trip. The girl's trip was really not girl mapping. Like, I feel like we need to have one more musketeer in our group that'll kind of like help us with strategic decisions, if I may. My friends visiting me really made my heart so warm and fuzzy. It like felt like a piece of home was here. I know we don't see each other every day, but at least um, they're one phone call away. I am, I wrote down like savvy stuff, nice stuff to say about my friends and I'm having like a really hard time saying it out loud because it's cringy. <laughs> Just know I love you guys. So if you guys want another girls trip video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. Thank you. <laughs>